Good evening, and welcome to St. Peter's Episcopal Church, Maumelle Branch. Today is Thursday, June 18th, and we're glad you could join us for our Compline service this evening. We invite you to join us tomorrow evening at 6 for evening prayer, and then on Sunday at 11 for our regular Sunday morning service. You can find it here on our Facebook page, or you can catch it about an hour after the service on our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and search for St. Peter's Episcopal Church Conway. And we will also be having our virtual coffee hour about noon on Sunday. Um, you should get a link in your Sunday morning email. Um, if you haven't signed up for that, send us your name and email address to virtualcoffeehour at stpetersconway.com. And with that, we'll get started. An order for Compline begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, Father we, we have, have sinned, sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Let us say together Psalm 4, found on page 128. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Matthew's Gospel. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. We continue with the versicle and response found in the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. At this time, I invite your intercessions and thanksgivings. We offer prayers especially for the St. Peter's family, especially Debbie Looney and her family, Judy Weaver. We pray for those who are struggling against the coronavirus. We pray for all those who are working to fight it. We pray for our first responders and healthcare professionals. We pray for those who have died. Lord, in your mercy, you hear our prayer. prayer. Continue at the bottom of page 134, together. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. We thank you for joining us this evening. We hope to see you again tomorrow night for evening prayer at 6 p.m. Until then, stay safe, take care, and God be with you.